are good. Those are perfect. Any <laughs> So we're getting ready to start a sunflower food plot project for dove hunting this fall. And we're gonna do it on the cheap. I've got really cheap seed. We're not putting any chemical or fertilizer down. We're not spraying. We're just gonna do the cheap and dirty. Disc it and throw some seed down and see what happens. So first thing I went ahead and hooked the brush hog up and got all the tall weeds mowed down so that I could start disking. Because disking in weeds is not fun. I think I might have some leftover seed. I'm gonna have to stick somewhere else because I was shooting for somewhere around two acres. This is about one acre. That's about all I want to do here. I might put something somewhere else, but that's step one done. Get it mowed. Now, I should really spray this, but I'm just gonna disc the shit out of it and plant it. We'll see how it how it works. Last year we fertilized and limed this section pretty heavily so I think I'll be okay this year weeds will be the only problem but hopefully with sunflowers they get tall and shade them out before that's too big of an issue but it's my first time doing it so we'll see what happens I ain't gonna make you guys sit here and watch me disc up grass for four hours, so I disced all evening and called it a day. Well, it's day three. Today's Thursday, and I'm hoping to wrap up this little project tonight. Got some rain moving in maybe tonight, but a good chance for tomorrow and the rest of the weekend, so I hit this little plot one more time with the disc and broadcast some seed. Alright, I think we're ready for some seed finally. 
So I've got this 25 pound bag of Dove candy. It's treated sunflowers. I got it from uh, Pheasants Forever. It's under their Quail Forever tab. But it was it was dirt cheap. I don't know what I paid for it, but it was only like 20 or 30 bucks. It says this bag will do four to five acres. So let's just say five acres. If broadcasting increased seeding rates by 50%. So that'll cut us down to two and a half acres is what this will do broadcasting. And I think we've got, it's under an acre. So I'm gonna use less than half a bag. They say do not over plant several times on the instructions. So that's probably important. So we'll do about half a bag. I've just got one of these shoulder harness bag broadcasters. You can get them anywhere. They're kind of crappy, but I didn't want to break the foiler out with the big broadcaster for this little plot. So it shouldn't take long. Yeah, you definitely don't want to eat those. That treated seed is treated with metal axle and I'm not, I'm not even going to try and pronounce that one. That green stuff on there. Not sure exactly what that does. Aids in germination somehow. key to this is just being consistent on how fast you turn the handle and watch out to the side see how far it throws it hang right there to the edge and then just kind of pay attention the other side of you that's where you need to line up your next pass Rain's coming, we gotta hurry. Ideally, after broadcasting, you'd wanna use a cult packer. I have one, but dad hooked it on a tree and broke it in half last year and we haven't fixed it yet. So, I'm gonna back drag it with a loader bucket. It's not the best, it's gonna move some seed around. Hopefully it'll do two things, which is get the, the seed into the soil for a better seed to soil contact, which this rain coming is gonna help a bunch with that too water will push it down into the ground but two it's going to keep that fluffy powdery dry dirt from turning into whipped cream and floating down the hill all right so my gopro died i don't have time to go get different batteries because the rain is getting ready to cut loose i've seen like 20 bolts of lightning already so i'm gonna be quick i got this saw back drag got our seed bed a little better than it was it's still pretty fluffy but it's about all i can do well fast forward 45 seconds all in line is coming down but that's the best thing you could ask for and you want to plant as close as rain as you can so the birds don't eat it the seed doesn't dry out and you don't get any closer than this so we lucked out Well, it's been 17 days. As you can see, we've got some pretty good growth. It's a little thin in areas, thinner than I'd like it. So I'm probably gonna come back and 
reseed some of this. But they're growing fast. Four or five inches tall. All right, so here we are three months later after planting and I'm pretty happy for the results. For $30, I, we got a whole sunflower food plot. Now I could have put a bunch of money in chemical and fertilizer and some lime and got, you know, eight, nine, 10 foot tall sunflowers. We're looking at like four or five foot tall sunflowers. I got a couple pushing six foot. I've got some like knee high, but now look at this crazy one right here. It's got one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven heads on it. Look at this thing. Three, three, one big one. And about 20 bugs on it having sex. You know, like I said, some of them are pushing six foot. I'm happy with that. I only put $30 into this. I, I think it's a pretty good result. Next year, I'm gonna try and do a little better. You gotta learn what your ground can do. And my ground doesn't, doesn't do a whole lot. So we'll get some fertilizer on it this winter. Get some manure or something. Probably put some lime on it again. And I'd like to do, I think we've got about 15 acres of this right away. And other than deer bedding, it doesn't provide a whole lot for habitat. But next year I'll probably use something different. I probably won't do just straight sunflowers. Probably use bird seed. I've heard people have really good results for it. There's a lot of videos on YouTube, people doing it. You get millet and sorghum along with your sunflowers. I'm sure there's a few other things in there that'll sprout, some corn, who knows. But, I mean, if you got 30 bucks laying around and you like shooting doves, try it out. It's pretty easy. But, thanks for tuning in. And I would really appreciate it if you'd subscribe. I don't hit the like button if you like this. I don't care. I just need subscribers. Me and Jared want to do this more. And it's a slow, long process getting subscribers. Oh, we want to get this monetized so we can do this more. <laughs> we both hate our jobs. If we could just run around hunting and fishing and doing random redneck stuff, I'd never retire.